Hey guys, you're here for the 10 types of revivers. A res is the resurrection of your fallen compatriots, and there are many types of people who do it and don't. The bag res is probably the most notorious, where privates are dunked on the body of the deceased, referred to as the tea bag, clam slam, or French dip. Used to show familiarity among friends, or telling someone to up their game, making you want to break their legs, rip their eyes out, and then cut their internet cable. People who bag will go far in life for the first 18 years. After that, they work a minimum wage, moving from job to job until they have a kid, and realizes they needed to up their own game all along, in which case they get promoted, and after being frustrated with all the new hires, they will start to wonder if they themselves were that dumb when they started off, and they were. They really were. They continue to bag people in PvP because it reminds them of simpler times when all they had to do was log on and bag to feel superior to all the dad gamers trying to release their personal frustration by senseless murder on weekends. We have the emo in Wall. This type of reviver is a survivalist. He knows he sucks at the game, but the other player is even worse. Reviving now could be a potential wipe resetting the whole encounter and wasting precious time, so he sits in a wall not to jeopardize the success of the mission and let you respawn yourself. Players might mistake this for laziness, but this kind of person is a born leader. They make rational decisions under pressure, they put events on their calendar, and only need one alarm to wake up in the morning. We have the disrespectful emote res. This person is the evolved form of a bagger. They set up emotes for premeditated humiliation of other players. They are the scum of the earth that plagues society today. They are willing to spend money to show off and look down on other players. Any potential avenue to feed their overinflated ego will be capitalized on no matter the cost. They will become lost in the search for superiority and never be satisfied. The AFK. This person will see your dead body and go AFK, and if they die and get revived, they will still be AFK. These are the people who eat or text while playing the game. They multitask everything in real life to maximize their productivity. They are usually self-motivated and proud of their work when they finish a task. They find the amount of time in a day lacking and seek to improve by wearing down their mental state to a point that they feel justified taking a day off. The Claw Res. This is a person who uses a standard controller because they are poor and don't have a job. They seek to overcome their lack of extra buttons by using their index finger for reviving and simultaneously use the other fingers for shooting. This type of person won't make excuses in life. They are ambitious people that will rise to the top of corporations one day. They also forget what day it is so they never say happy birthday. We have the Madden Voice Chat. These are people who revive their teammates because it's the way the game was meant to be played. Then proceed to talk in voice chat about how bad of a player you are and need to quit the game. These people will become toxic clan leaders because they feel they know best. They will seek out new players to carry in raids, only to inflate their raid report stats and complete the encounters without teaching them any roles. Fast food workers are 80% more likely to spit in their food, so they order it plain and put ketchup on at home. The use the sword to knock you off the map revive. This person kills players on purpose only to revive them and repeat. They get their enjoyment from people fighting to stay alive. These people troll forums and love your mom jokes. They have too much time on their hands and hate destiny but have nothing else to do. They are bored with life, but aren't creative enough to seek other avenues of enjoyment. These types of people have one Pez dispenser and get refill only packs instead of getting a new character every time they run out. We have the no res. These people will not revive you under any circumstance. These are the people who always buy bounties and complete them religiously. They are selfish people who collect many things. Hoarders who fill their house with useless junk because their self-worth is determined by possessions. These players create a game within the game by seeing how fast they can get things completed. They become great at the game in their own right, but have no morals and end up hiring a private lawyer to get their speeding tickets reduced to non-moving violations. The Invis Res. When they revive someone, they also make both of you invisible. These are the people that play Destiny in real life and eating is just the mini game. They shower twice a week and only go to Walmart when they run out of food. These people eat while playing the game, they have unhealthy diets and typically gain weight. They have no friends and family to eat with, so they get together with people online to eat with instead. 
This person is probably having a rough time socially and doesn't need any more crap. They are really nice and friendly people, but because they get taken advantage of, they become friends with everyone and only have a couple of close friends they confide to. The Madden Text Chat These are angry individuals who don't care about anyone or anything. Typically people with messed up worldviews who dislike anything different than themselves. They cannot let anything go and will never be satisfied unless every unfiltered thought is expressed in text for everyone to see and read at their leisure. These people get banned from communication often and create multiple accounts to bypass their restrictions. These types of people never change and never plan to. They don't hold any grudges because they are quick to move on to newer problems to be angry about. April Fools, I am not a psychologist. Cheese forever, Guardian.